So we've been talking recently about this vortex, and now we're telling you that where you stand because of what you think and how you feel, you are creating a vibrational grid. It's like a framework of things that will fill in with manifestation. We'll fill in with more abundance. We'll fill in with more vitality. We'll fill in with more friends. We'll fill in with each and every detail of all of the things that you've been asking for that are right now, some of them, only a vibrational reality. And since you've been saying, Abraham, I appreciate the concept of the vibrational reality. I'll even go along with you and call it the vortex of creation. But until some of that stuff starts manifesting, I'm not feeling very excited about the concept of the vortex. And we say, well, then let's marry it with the concept of the grid. And as you prepare a vibrational nucleus, the contents of the vortex will flow right in and fill in your grid. Not all at once. You wouldn't want that. You don't want to eat all the food that you're going to eat for the rest of this life today. Do you, you really don't. You want it to come incrementally and satisfyingly, but you don't want it all today. And you don't want the contents of your vortex to download into your experience all today. You don't, you want it to come incrementally. You want it to come naturally. You want it to be the next logical step. You want it. In fact, don't worry about it because it can't come. Otherwise you want it to come when you're ready for it. And that's really what we're talking about. We're talking about how can you be ready for what you're asking for? Because almost all of you would say, I'm ready now. I'm ready to win the lottery. It's why I buy a tickets every day. I'm ready to find my lover. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And we say, if you are ready, it's happened. And if it hasn't happened, you're not ready. So what are you going to do to get ready? You got to stop doing that thing that you do that keeps you from being ready. I got to stop doing that thing I do that keeps me from being ready. What do you mean? You know, talking about the absence of what you want. That's that thing you do that keeps you from being ready. You don't mean to, but you keep practicing the vibration of the absence of what you want. And you got to cut that out. Well, that means I have no friends left because <laughs> that's pretty much what we all talk about. Can't watch television. It's what they talk about. So what do I do? And we say, first, just accept that what you want is there and that all you have to do is prepare yourself vibrationally. And just like water flows downstream, it will begin flowing into your experience. And then try just a little bit, some of the things that we'll be talking about here today and watch how some of those things that have been holding out begin coming in. And as you acknowledge, Hmm, I can see how my deliberate effort, we use that word very softly, my deliberate effort, my deliberate focus, my deliberate caring about feeling good. So I deliberately contoured my thoughts into more general thoughts that felt better. I can see how this manifestation is a direct response of that, a direct response. And then it's really nice if you pay attention to all things that come wanted and unwanted because it's all the same. When something really wonderful happens, Esther would say, as these concepts were new to her, I did that. She just felt exhilarated. She could see the trail. And when something unwanted happens, she says, I did that. I did that too. Don't you love knowing that you have the ability to contour your vibration all day, every day into precisely that which will please you. And don't you love this cooperative universe that is showing you the components that are equaling the vibration that you've got going on. Don't you love knowing that there's no chance, there's no fate, there's no someone else pushing themselves into your experience. There's no assertion. There's no lack of control. You have complete control because you have the ability to think and feel and watch what happens and then think and feel and watch what happens and then think and feel and watch what happens. It's so wonderful to be in mindful, deliberate control of your own vibration because things are always working out for you, no matter how it looks at any point in time, things are always working out for you. And as soon as you acknowledge that and begin deliberately applying your ability to think and feel 
and then watch the cooperative benevolent loving universe say here you go just what you ask for here you go just what you ask for oh didn't mean to ask for that well here you go just what you ask for <laughs> didn't mean to ask for that either well here you go just what you ask for huh maybe I need to rethink this maybe I need to rethink it and refeel it and rethink it and refeel it and rethink it and refeel it here you go just what you ask for much better we're eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you there is nothing that is off limits you'll notice a perfect unfolding as we're moving forward here today you already have a sense of what we want to talk about with you we want to help you get to the vibrational frequency that allows what you want we want to help you tune to who you really are we want you to not worry about anything that happens because everything that is happening oh <laughs> we're just gonna enjoy it ourselves for a minute <laughs> everything that is happening to you everything that is happening to you everything that is happening to you is temporary because it's responding to your now frequency now frequency now frequency now frequency now frequency so if there's something happening and you don't like it you just got to change your now frequency it really is as simple as that and it really is more simple than you know so what do you want to talk about 